Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review King Richard, which is now on HBO Max for a month, but also in theaters, and focuses on the story of the Williams family, who have Richard Williams, tennis coach, trying to jumpstart the careers of his two daughters, Serena and Venus Williams, who become two of the greatest athletes to ever enter the sport of tennis, and also some of the greatest athletes, I think, period. And Serena Williams is arguably the greatest tennis player of all time. And you have this story brought to life by Ronaldo, Marcus Green, who previously did Monsters and Men, which was a very powerful drama focusing on police. And this film, obviously, is a very powerful drama that focuses on this time period in the early 90s when these two young women were starting the spark, that, that fire, that will light the whole entire tennis sport to flame and just have them dominate for decades at that point. And you see this film, it's beautifully shot by Robert Ellswit and composed by Chris Bowers. It's just a moving and triumphant score that really brings this really feel-good sports drama to life. This it is tick clocking in at like two hours and 20 minutes or so. Might be a little over long. Definitely falls into some of those real big cliches of sports dramas leading all the way up into like the big match at the end and kind of feeling a bit like Rocky at that standpoint because, you know, you have both Sanaya Sidney who plays Venus Williams, you have Demi Singleton who plays Serena Williams, and both of them bring so much energy and charisma to these two young women, and you're just connected from the very start of this film and rooting for them, no matter how much they have to go through, and you have... Will Smith, who just gives this towering performance as Richard Williams, who is just driven to protect his family, but also is not the best guy at times and really pushes him so hard and is unrelenting at times and comes to blows with his wife, uh, played by Ingenue Ellis, who just really embodies a powerful, caring, supportive, but ferocious wife and mother in this film and they they come to verbal sparring at times and it's two powerhouse performances going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other and just Smith's performance is so impressive and if this doesn't get nominated for best actor I don't know what at this point for Will Smith and the rest of the cast is filled out with like Tony Goldwyn, who plays their first coach. You have John Bernthal, who plays Rick Macy, who does a fantastic job playing against type with this, like, he's strange, quirky, a weird, high-energy kind of guy, you know? And he has, like, these shaggy hair and this mustache. And he's just a, such a delight to see in this. And he's a great supporting actor. Ellis is fantastic as a supporting character, and you just have Will Smith killing it at the center of this, which it's interesting. I don't know how I feel about, like, they could have made a film about Venus and Serena Williams, but they chose to make this film about their father and everything he went through to get them to where they were. And I don't know, maybe if this had a little bit more perspective from the two of them, the Williams sisters, it might feel a little bit more impactful instead of having like looking so much at their dad and the things that he had to do things that he didn't have that he's trying to provide for his daughters and it's a powerful thing the film always seems to be on Richard Williams side which I'm not sure if that's the best approach because like there's definitely some things where I think he went a little too far and a film trying to avoid trying to condemn those types of things in a certain way, you know, it paints, it takes away some of the complexity of the story and tries to paint more of like, he's, he's our hero and everyone was out to get him and he's proven them all wrong. But the performances in this are fantastic. The filmmaking is very strong. Um, Green does a great job directing this film with energy and care 
and love, to be perfectly honest, there's a love value of love here for what they able to do in terms of capturing this inspiring story and it avoids some of those like obnoxious tropes of like really pointing out like things of the future and being like this might happen but like this period drama the sports drama just features such fantastic performances all around you care so much about them and you want to see them succeed all the way up to this big climactic battle between Venus Williams and the young woman who was the top tennis player in the world and in the end this film leaves the whole entire adult life of the Williams sisters ahead of it and does so much with such a little chunk of their story and really is compelling and moving and powerful and this is definitely one of the best feel-good films of the year. But those are my thoughts on King Richard. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.